Hello guys, this is Thanks T2K, and uh, yeah, if I do apologise if my eyes keep looking that way, because I've got it on, you know, selfie mode on me, you know, phone, but yeah, it was just weird seeing camera from there to there, blah, and everything, so, right, this video is basically, I'm going to cover the whole 36 races, yeah, from D and D five E. Uh, these are going to be split into four parts. Uh, all in alphabetical order. So uh, this is going from Arakocka, Akakokria, to you know Feborg. So if I don't get any races, you know, punctuality right, I do apologise. I'm only human, you know, I just get a trait in, uh, you know, ability trait in everything, that's all. <laughs> the puns. But yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, this is going to be an easy guide to for people to come and, you know, understand what races do. With the latest, you know, source books coming out. Obviously, you got like centaurs, minotaurs, uh, simics, and another one. Yeah, well, that's come out. So, and yeah, and basically, how you know, how the uh, dragonborn you know traits get absolutely you know trashed on really compared to other reptilian yeah races that's in there. Because, you know, dragons that can't see in dark. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? But f without further ado, I'm just going to, you know, go through, you know, you know like the traits of what they've got, what they get. Just basics. You know, I'm not going to go in full details. You can go online to, you know, get more of the information from, you know, source books. But when I get to elves, I know there's some extra, you know, sub races and everything else. But uh, yeah, I got to the point where about three o'clock in the morning, and yeah, you know, I'm actually writing these down by hand, and now I'm literally like, you know, exhausted. Like, no, I'm not doing any more. This was, yeah, you know, pretty big project for me. Where? Here we go. My bright handwriting. I'll qualify as a doctor one day. If only I could join up writing. <laughs> but three minutes in, I says, you know, everything's going to be in alphabetical order. There's going to be four videos. So let's, you know, kick things right off. Uh, the arrow cocker. Cockera. Cockera. You have the traits, you know, for ability wise. They get, you know, two decks and plus, you know, plus two for decks, plus one for wisdom. Uh, the foot speed is at 25. But, you know, flight wise, yeah, they can fly at 50 feet as long as they're not wearing it, you know, medium or heavy armor. And they've, you know, got, you know, talon, you know, talons that do. You know, unarmed strike at, you know, D4 plus your proficiency as well, so. Which, you know, you can't grumble like that. You say like this, you know, static. Then next we've got is the Asimar. Uh, this one has got, you know, sub races, so I've got all three of them down. And when I go and yeah, you know, when I go you know through these, some will have like skills and uh, cantrips. Obviously, I'm just I'll be getting out the names, and obviously you'd be able to find you know what the actual spells and what they do online. So that's it. If I just went through all the blooming elves and that lot, there would just be one video on their own. You know, going word for word, but right, Asimar. 
Uh, uh, they get plus two for charisma. Yeah, this is you know, stat, you know, base, base stat. Uh, 30 foot, you know, 30 foot, you know, speed. They got dark vision. Everyone knows what dark vision is. They got celestial resist. A resistance to necrotic and radiant damage. Healing hands. Heals the amount, yeah, amount of your level. Lightbringer. Light can trip learned. Uh, learned and use your know, charisma to cast it. Then you get into the sub races. Where you can be a protector. Where you get a plus one for wisdom. You get radiant soul straight away. At level three. You get you know, one minute's worth of flight. Yeah, which is at 30 foot. And then you can, you know, cause, you know, extra radiant damage, you know, when you melee or, you know, spell to users. Yeah, to, yeah, to your users level. So if you get, you know, if you're level one, you cause one radiant. Level two, level 20 is 20 radiant. So nice one to get there. Uh, the next sub rage is Sc Scourge, where you get plus one to con. You get Radiant, con radiant consum Consumption. Uh, you transform. And, you know, when you're at le third level, you know, ten foot of, you know, bright light and ten foot of dim light. Enemies, you know, take, you know, radiant damage on yourself to, you know, half your level. But if you, you know, deal any damage to them, you know, they get, you know, the extra damage to your level as, you know, radiant damage. Then you get the Fallen, where it's, you know, you get plus one to your ability, Necrotic Shroud. You know, at level three, you transform into, you know, into creature. Enemies within, you know, ten foot make a charisma save of your DC eight plus proficiency plus charisma. You know, and if they fail, they become frightened, and you cause extra necrotic damage to your level of melee or spell, or would like to your level, and that's. The Asimar done. Next one we go on to is Bugbear. Yeah, Bugbear traits. Where, yeah, plus two to strength, plus one to dex, 30 foot speed. Yeah, you know, dark vision. Uh, long limbered. Obviously, you can melee at an extra, you know, at 10 foot instead of 5 foot. Powerful build. Uh, your count is one size larger. You know, if you ever need to, you know, carry, push, shove. So, also there'll be quite a few of these that's going to relate to a load of others. So, I'm going to say, you know, say, you know, say, you know, things now. And obviously, if they come, do come up, you know, in other races... Just jump back to this video. So, yeah, kind of one size larger. You get sneaky. Where you know, you get your proficient on stealth. Then surprise attack. You surprise creature on first turn. You deal two d six damage, and that's yeah once per combat. And then next we go on to you know. Senator, you know, the horse people. Uh, you get plus two to strength, plus one to wisdom, 40 foot speed. Uh, you're fey, well, you count as a fey creature. Charge, charge move is at least, you know, 30 foot movement. Then, you know, then 
hit with you know, your melee. Following you know that you can. That the yeah you charge. Uh, you, you hit. You know, your enemy. You know, your melee. Then obviously as a bonus action you can use your hooves. So then hooves is. One d four. Plus strength, your modifier. Du -du -du. Unique build, you can't as one size larger. Yeah, when carrying, pushing, or dragging. Climbing is extremely difficult. Obviously, you know, you got horse legs. So if you're going up a cliff face, instead of just being like plus, you know, plus one per foot, you'll have a plus four disadvantage. You know, per, you know, per foot. Then you know, survivor, your proficiency to up to the one, either animal handling, medicine, nature, or survival. Uh, next one is changeling traits. Uh, yeah, plus two to charisma, plus one for dex or intelligence. Uh, yeah, they're at yeah, they move at a thirty foot speed. And this is gonna be some This is gonna be a good little read now. Da -da 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 -da. Changing appearance Action to transform, but you can't turn into creatures that you haven't seen you know before. So if you haven't seen a bugbear before, you can't turn into a bugbear. But if you've seen a dwarf before, you turn into a dwarf. And you get advantage on deception. If you you know if you transform and try to you you know, you know, decept people. Then next one is yeah, changing you know change those instincts. Two proficiencies from deception, intimidation, insight. Persuasion. So I need two of that two out them ones. Then upsetting visage. When attack when attacked, impose a disadvantage as a reaction. You need to, you know, say when you're gonna do it, you know, before you get hit. So then obviously that's where the disadvantage kicks in. And you can't use it again, you know, till you know, short, short or long rate, you know, short or, you know, long rest. Then you got divergent persona. You get a proficiency to one tool of your choice, and um, yeah, and when you use it, you get a times two on it. So if you're plus two in. Uh, Say, lock picking. Uh, yeah. How would that work? Yeah. Say so if you, you know, your stat base is two, then obviously you get proficiency, that's four. Then now we'll go times two, so you get plus, you get eight on that for your old. Then we get on to you know Dragonborn next. Uh yeah, plus two to strength, plus one to charisma, thirty foot speed, draconic ancestry. You get to choose your yeah you know, what Dragonborn colour you are. Uh and obviously you get like the you know, breath attack. You know, being you can either have, you know, whatever element, you know, the dragon is in cone or line. And the line could be a 15 foot cone for certain ones or the opposite's got to be a 15 foot cone. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Then you get, you know, and when you do your breath attack, it's your DC plus your con plus your proficiency, you know, for the saving throw. Then dragon colour on decks. Oh yeah, one yeah. The DC, yeah, it's a deck save. 
Then at level six, EEL, it's, no, not level six. At level, yeah, at level six, you get 3d6 instead of it being 2d6. At level 11, it's 4d6. And at level 16, it's 5d6, you know, of breath damage. Then you got dragon resistance, basically. You, you know, you're resistant to whatever element your dragon is, you know, your dragon colour is. And... Well, this is with a you know draconic ascent ancestry. It just basically just binds them both into you know into you know the other two you know traits they got. So this is pointless really. The Mars just uh, yeah you know, gave you know dragon wardens you know dark vision. Then everything will be a lot more balanced. It's just basically oh yeah they can use breath weapon. That's it. And saying that, you know, that's a, you know, it can be a big thing yeah, as a bonus. But, well, it's just dark vision ain't going to hurt much. Now we get on to dwarfs. Then next one's elves. Whoa. But, right. Dwarfs. This is another sub race. It's. Plus two to con. They've got twenty five foot of speed. They got you know dark vision. Dwarven resistance. Uh yeah. Oh no, dwarven resilience. They got advantage on you know poison you know poison throws, saving throws and poison resists. So obviously with that. If you get poison, you got you got to roll, you know, you know, d twenty, just to basically just see if it actually affects you or not. So you get two rolls on that, and if it does affect you, it's half damage anyway. Uh, dwarven combat training, proficiency on battle and hand axes, throwing and war hammers. Plus you get a yeah. You know, plus you get a tool proficiency to either smith, smiths, brewer, mason, or stone cutting. No, I mean mason. Yeah, mason, brewer, smiths, and there was another one. No, 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 no. I think yeah. There's one more. But then they get stone cutting, where any stone work you can you know, or, you, know, you can examine. It's you know, times two you times two your proficiency on you know on history, on any you know, on any stone works. So you go to a wall, you can tell if there's like you know secret passage there. Uh, if the yeah you know, the thickness of the wall you know basically the history of brick really. So. And we go into the sub races. Why well, do you think I put hell there? He could be a hell dwarf. New race. Do, 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 do. Uh, hell dwarf. You get plus one for wisdom. Uh, your HP increases by one. Then one every level. So. I think yeah. You know, my understanding is yeah. You know, as soon as you get you, know, as soon as you go up a level, whatever you get, you plus one. Yeah, you know, for that level. But I don't think it's like at level one you get one. At level two you get plus two. It could be that. So check your DM on that one. Cause that she created a dwarf in the. Yeah. You know, well, upcoming you know create a character video. Uh, next one is Mountain Dwarf. They get plus two strength. Uh, dwarven armor, dwarven armor, where they're proficient with light and medium armors. Oh, excuse me. Then we get one of the new ones, the 
Do Nagar, where you get plus one strength, a superior dark vision, basically like dark vision, but you can see a lot more further in. They learn an extra language of your choice. Doing our resistance, you know, you got advantage on any illusions in front of you. Well, any illusions that go against you. You know, charmed or paralysed. Uh, doing our magic. At third level, you can, you know, use enlarge or reduce on yourself, so you can make yourself bigger or smaller. And on fifth level, you gain invisibility. But unfortunately, you can't cast it when you're in the sunlight. Because, you know, the Dunagar, they are the, you know, the very, very deep, dark dwarves. Hence why, you know, they get sunlight sensibility. They get disadvantage on, you know, attack, you know, melee attacks when they make any. And perception when they're out in the sunlight, so obviously... Sun's too too bright, and they gotta go. Yeah. Right, two more to go. Can't believe how big this one is gonna be. Health traits. Another sub race one. Uh, they get plus two for Dex, thirty foot speed. Dark vision, they get keen sensors where they're proficient on perception. Fey ancestry, 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 where basically they have ad advantage on, uh, you know, charm throws, you know, sp saves, and you know, and magic sleep can't put them to sleep. And they got trance where basically, you know. Four hours short rest, cats like it, you know, long rest for them. Due to don't don't need to sleep, they just need to go in a trance. Now the sub, sub races. Uh high elf. Uh they gain one you know, plus one to intelligence. Elf up in training. They're proficient on long and short sword. Yeah, you know, long and short bows. They get any, you know, wizard cantrip. And obviously intelligence is their spell casting. And they gain an extra language. Then we go on to Wood Elf. Where they get plus one to wisdom. Uh, elf up and training. As said before. Fleet of the foot. Uh, their speed goes up to 35. Instead of it being 30. Mask of the Wild. Uh, they can attempt to hide when you know lightly obscured by elements. So if it's absolutely snowing, they can easily turn it you know near enough blend into their background. So then we go on to the Drow. Plus one for charisma. Superior dark vision, as said before. Sunlight sensit you know sensitivity, as said before. Da, 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 da. Drown magic. First off, they get dancing light. At third level, they get fairy, you know, fairy fire. Then at fifth level, they gain darkness. And uh, their charisma is the spell casting, you know, for them spells. Uh, charisma, charisma. Then, you know, they get, like, draw weapon training, proficiency on r rapiers, short swords, and, like, crossbows. Then they get the Eladrin. Plus one to charisma. Phase step. Yeah, we teleport up to 30 feet. And, you know, 30 feet, you can actually see. You know, in front of you, you can't go through walls like cars in the day. If you can't see through walls, you don't know what's on the other side, or you get the Minecraft effect of gravel falling on you. 
Then at third level. Oh yeah, this is a fun one. Yeah, at third level, you get a season effect. Where basically, yeah, when you teleport, and depending what season elf you are, you get like special perks. Uh, autumn. When you TP, two creatures within 10 feet of you. Make a wisdom save or you know, make a wisdom save of DC eight plus proficiency plus charisma. And if they fail it, they end up getting you know charmed for a minute or until someone hits them really. Then we got the winter one, where you know when you TP creatures within five foot do a wisdom save or they get frightened. You know frightened of you until the next of your turn. Spring, when you TP, touch a willing creature and they'll TP 30 feet of, you know, of 30 foot into your, you know, your choice. So, basically like Leapfrog. Oh, I'll TP there. Alright, pal, just, I'll get you across that chasm. Pop, pop, pop. Then we go on to Summer. Uh, TP creature... Any and any creatures within five feet, at, you know, five foot of you, takes, you know, yeah, TP creature five foot takes five damage of your charisma mod. So if your charisma mod's plus four, they take four five damage. So that's the elder in. Now we go on to the sea elf. Plus one for calm. Sea Elf Training, you have proficiency in spears, tridents, light crossbows and nets. Child of the Sea, you swim at 30 feet. Breathe air and water. Uh, basically, you just breathe air and water as much as you want. Friend of the Sea, communicate simple ideas to any beasts that can swim. And, you know, basically... Uh, yeah, you speak to them, but they can't you know speak to you back. So basically, lastly, get me that paper. Thank you very much. Like that. Then yeah, then oh yeah, and obviously yeah, they can re you know, read, speak, and write in. Or in as well. Then the last one is the shoulder key. They get plus one, you know, plus one constitution. They got necrotic resistance. Obviously, if they get you know suffer necrotic damage, it gets halved. Bless of the Raven Queen. Uh, as a bonus action, you'll be able to TP up to 30 feet. At third level, you get resistance to damage and you appear you know, as a, you know, a ghostly, you know, ghostly and translucent. So, basically just ghosty, really. Then the last one is the Fiborg. Or, yeah, the Fiborg, Fiborg. What you want to call them. Where wisdom is plus two, strength's plus one, 30 foot speed, third bulb magic, where they get detect magic, disguise self. Ah, disguising, yeah. Yeah, disguise self. And using wisdom to self, you know, for spell cast. They get hidden step. Uh, bonus action. Yeah, bonus action turn invisible until start of of your next turn. Uh, or attack or attack, make damage roll or force someone to make a saving throw. Uh, 
And that's what you know I got from you know on the websites. That's what they've got apparently. So most probably could be scare or something like that or surprise. Powerful build, as said. Uh, speech, uh, you know, beast and leaf. Uh, you'll be able to communicate to animal, you know, animals and plants. You know, give them ideas, but they, obviously they can't speak to you back. And you get, you know, advantage on all, you know, you get advantage on all the charisma you make to influence them. So, yeah, obviously, yeah, any charisma, you know, skills that you make, you get advantage, you know, when you make them. Like intimidating a tree to, uh, you know, point a direction or bend, or bend over, you know, basically just bend over to make a bridge without breaking the tree down, you know, stuff like that. That's if you had that 20, of course. But, yeah, this were, you know, big one. So, this has been Thax T2K, and this has been part one of D&D 5e, you know, your yeah, race's basics. So, I hope you join me for, you know, part two to three, you know, two to fours. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.